Hello and welcome to the short video introducing the new project. This is the new project application from Microsoft built on top of the Power Platform CDS or Common Data Service for Apps. In the short video we'll look at how to create a new project. So the create a new project is done from the project home. So as we can see here we're in the project home we can just click create the new blank project and straight away we're into the canvas to be able to go and create the new project. If we click on untitled project we can give it a name so that's called Paul's Test. Projects, we can change the owner and the start date. So let's close that. So let's add some tasks in, task one, task two, task three. If we want to add in insert tasks, we can either right click on a task or we can click on this ellipsis as we hover over to bring out the, the task call out with the task actions. Let's insert another task. Let's call this summary one. So let's just indent these. Okay, and let's add a milestone. Milestone one. Okay. So notice we've only got the three columns name, assigned to, and duration. If we want to add new columns in, we just click the add column button. Uh, let's add percent complete. Uh, let's add uh, start and finish. Okay. We can resize the columns as needed, just drag them over. We can also change the order of the columns, so we can just drag the columns as needed. The views that you set up here are persistent per project, so any user that accesses this project will see the same view that you've created. Let's look at assigning users to, to this task, or to this, this particular task or plan. So if we click here, we can add myself, I'm automatically in a team. Um, no need to build the team anymore, we can just straight away search the, the tenant users, and let's add Lee. Notice the pop-up here. Um, so the projects all backed by the Office 365 groups security. So each project uh, to give other team members access, they have to be part of the group and the project has to be linked to a group. So we can either create a new group here or link to an existing group. For this demo, I'm just going to create a, a new group. So I create an assignment. So at that point, Lee and I are both on the group. So we can see the group members up here. And the same will happen when we add new other new uh, team members in. But if you want to just add myself there and add Lee to this one. So you go started adding users to to the uh, to the project. So I'd have projects anyway, I'd have access to the projects anyway as on as I'm the owner. Um, but Lee would also have edit access to this project via the Office 365 group. Let's start adding some durations. So we can start typing in here. And let's just add that. So we can see we've got some durations added in there. Um, we can also add task logic. So let's add the depends on column and depends after. So here we can add some links in. Notice they're not called predecessors or successors anymore. So we can click in here and start typing. We can just easily link, um, start typing the task name, task one, etc. So we can easily create the links that way. Or we can click on the task information uh, in the details panel here and we can create links here by clicking the add dependency and we can, again we can just start typing etc um, let's close that uh, but what I like to do is actually go to the timeline view and the nice way to to create links is we can just drag between the links to create the links here in a nice visual interactive way and there we go we've created the the, the structure within our plan so if we go back to grid we can see here that the dependence and depends on columns now have the task IDs. We also have a, a board view. So in here, we've got different views within the board view. So the default is grouped by progress. So we can easily move these tasks over. If I drop this in here, notice it drop, uh, updates to 50% complete straight away. Or if I drop it into the completed column, it goes to 100%. There are different views here, so we can have buckets. So I can easily add another bucket. Let's go pause test. Uh, and I can just drop these into pause test, etc. There's also, we can view it by finish date. So we can see here that actually this one's completed, but we can see that all of these tasks are due to finish next week. If we want to add progress, so we can either just come into here and start typing, let's say this is 50% complete, uh, or we can, if we want to say that this task is is also complete, we can just check the, the checkbox and that then updates. Uh, 
We can also extend the task duration from, from this grid as well. So we can move tasks out, bring tasks in, and that will automatically update on, on the board, on the grid view as well. Notice there's no save or update, so it's automatically saving. Um, and there's no publish either. So if I add a new task in here, let's just say task Z, uh, and actually let's say I want to undo that, I just press Control Z, and then that removes. If I want to redo that, Control Y, and that reappears. So nice, simple, uh, intuitive canvas to to build your project schedules. So there is another way you can create projects. Um, so if you also go into the the Dynamics interface, so I've already loaded that here, so we can see here. If I just refresh this, we should see my new test project come in. So we can see here, yep, pause test. So if I click this, we can see the summary view. And then if I click on tasks, then this will load the project uh, within the, the Dynamics interface here. And I can use the same features that I was using on the, on the project home. The project home is the, the slightly better experience because you've got the full page view rather than in the iframe here. So we can just click open in project and that will automatically open that project in the project interface. So let's close that. We can also create new projects on this interface as well. So if we just hit the new project and then we can just give it a name, pools test two, hit save. And then we can go into the tasks and that will load. And then just like before, we can come into the canvas and just start typing task one. And it auto saves from this interface as well. So that's just a quick intro. There'll be many videos uh, that I'll publish later on. I've also got a blog post that will be released uh, later today. There, there be uh, a link to the blog post that details the full sort of end user experience of the new project. Um, I'll put a link in, in the video comments. And um, what I'll also be releasing later today is a Power BI report pack for the new project. So let's have a quick look at that. So you can see here, um, it's very similar to the Power BI roadmap uh, report pack that I released. Um, so we've got a quick summary here of, of some of the projects that we've got. Uh, we've got links within here. So if I click this link here, it'll open up automatically uh, that new project. So we've got it there. We can see that when that opens. Um, we've also got a sort of a Gantt type view here um, to see how the projects are on, a, on an overview, similar to like what the project center is in projects online. Got some summary charts just to show some examples for, for some of the data, you know, project durations, uh, project remaining effort, task status by count, etc. We've also got a details sort of project on a page type view. Um, so here I've already pre-selected uh, Paul's test project two. We can see some team member details. Uh, we can see some project uh, details here, some task assignment information, some task links, and also some task details along with some counts by status. Uh, we can also link directly to the task as well. So if I click this link here, this will open up uh, and load the task modal so that I can straight away go into that task and, and update it. We've also got some resource assignment information here. So we've just got a, a summary of the resources that are allocated to each project and the tasks that they're on and the hours um, start and finish dates. So say this, this is a report pack that I've um, developed and will release this afternoon. Um, there will be a link to, to download this report pack in the video description. So look out for um, many more videos and blog posts coming soon on the new project. Um, thanks for watching.